losses and the losses that men will be lovers of money. So people on Facebook so can hear the gospel. Yeah, and all they, they do is chase the money. True, true. They work nine to five, they hate their job, they hate themselves, they're living for money rather than purpose. All they do is chasing money. And you wonder why they're less depressed. You wonder why they're left with anxiety because they're chasing money. You know what money, you know the Bible says that the love of money is the root of all evil. So many people today are chasing money. You know, people do whatever it takes to get money. If it means me working a job that I hate, if it means me robbing man, robbing people, if it means me sleeping around just to get quick man, to get quick, get quick cash, people do these things. People do whatever it takes to get money. You see, there's nothing wrong with money, but I think it's the intentions behind it. And many people today have wrong motives. They're chasing money. They work nine to five, they hate their job, they go to university. You know, so many people today have no idea as to what they want to do in their life. Amen, you got guys? It's all about money. It's all about living my best life. Chasing money, chasing things that never fulfill you. Chasing things that are temporary, chasing things that run out. Money runs out. You're never satisfied, you know that? Amen! You're never satisfied with your money. Because you want more and more and more. And that's why you keep chasing and seeking and pursuing money. Yes. Pursuing money, pursuing things that run out. You know, your bank account gets low and then people are chasing money every single day. And they never really have time for God. You know, they work nine to five and you know, when they get home, they're tired. Like, they're, they're so literally tired. They have any time to really reflect and to really think about what life is all about. Right. See, life is not about me. It's not about right. going to work, sleeping, that, waking Amen. up. Right. Going to work, sleeping, waking up. It's like a cycle. It's like an endless cycle. And you know what this is? You're being conditioned to, 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 to live life this way. Amen. You're being Amen. conditioned to live life just chasing money, chasing hey, things man, that never preach, you, man. Preach. It's all part of the agenda. It's all a, a part of the agenda to take you away from what really truly matters. And what really truly matters is God. But you're so distracted. You're so distracted with chasing money, chasing things that never fulfill you. You know, so many people are left broken chasing money. They do AC, they do fraud, just to get quick money. You know what they're doing? They're, they're hurting people, they're breaking people, they're hurting themselves and they're hurting Rich others. Brother, and that's not loving people, that's not loving your neighbour as yourself. You know, I, I remember I used to do crazy things just to get money. I used to steal, I used to steal just to get money. You know, so many people today do whatever it takes to get money and they're left broken. They're left in a pit, they're digging themselves in a hole. And they can't stop and they're slaves to it. But you know what money does? It destroys you, you know that? It really does. Amen! It leaves you broken. It leaves you, it leaves you, it leaves you with a void in your heart. You keep on chasing, chasing money. And the Bible says that the love of money is the root of all evil. And the Bible says that you can't love God and money. You see, if you love one, you hate one. And the truth is, majority of people love money rather than God. Amen! And that's the reason why nobody cares about God. They're just too busy chasing money. And you have so many people today walking by, oh, I'm busy. I've got to go to work. They have no time for God. They have no time to really focus on the things that really now. See, if you, if you didn't have breath today, if you didn't have breath in your lungs, you won't be working today. You sometimes we forget to understand that the reason for why we live and move and have our being is because of God. Amen! We have our existence, our, our existence with God. The reason for why we have life today, the reason why we have a job is because of God. But we have no time to acknowledge God. We have no time to really reflect as to why we're here. Amen! As to why we actually live. But you know the Bible says in Him we live, we move and have our existence. It's because of God that we have life. It's because of God that we can see another day. It's because of God Amen. that we have life inside of us. But it's too busy chasing money, chasing things that never fulfill us. Because you know, Jesus says that heaven and earth will pass away. But my words won't. So everything that you're chasing is temporary. Amen! You can chase your money, you can, chase, you can have a nice car, a nice house. You can have everything you want. But it's all vanity. Because you're not taking nothing with you. It doesn't matter if you're poor or you're rich, we're all the same. 
Amen. You can have all, everything you want. You can be rich. You can have everything you want. You're no better than the, than the poor man. Because I can tell you one thing. That you're tell him. taking nothing with you. Amen. You're taking nothing with you. The only thing you're taking with you is your soul. Amen. And the Bible says a prayer for man to die once and come to judgment. Let's go to the police. So everything you're working for, everything go to you're the police. For, all they need to hear the word of God. Amen. Amen. Hello, officers. Come and join us and hear the gospel. Because you guys are not exempt. You're not exempt from the wrath of God. The wrath of God has been revealed from heaven against all ungodliness. Do you think wearing uniform of the law makes you a lawful man? The law come from the law from God. Tell me, what is the law of God? Do you think wearing this uniform justifies that you are good inside your heart? For there's no one good, no, not one, says the Lord. Tell me, do you think you're good in your heart? Have you ever told a lie? Have you ever lusted over a woman in your heart? I'm sure what some of you guys are married. You see, because you cannot answer me because you know that you have sinned against God. If you want to stand for the law, if you want to stand for the law, stand for the law of God. What's the opportunity, brother? When we're in a uniform, we have no opinion. Right? We can't. Your opinion is to serve the government. Yes or right? Yes or right? Your opinion is to stand no, for the law. No. If someone wants to steal something right now, you are obligated. You have to. You're a public servant. You have to do what you are caught and signed to do. So do not be a hypocrite, my friend. I'm telling you, you're a sinner you and you can be forgiven. Me, are you going to give me an opportunity to talk? Like go on, speak go on, talk. Me. And is there any need to have a camera on me? Coming up to me, approaching us, shouting at us, right? In order to get a few hits on YouTube. It's not a hit on YouTube. It's, this is, is for the world. Reason, is there any reason why you're holding the camera up to my face and approaching me in such a manner that could be determined as aggressive? As aggressive? Yes. So I'm telling you that for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. That if you believe, you may not perish, but have everlasting life. at the moment. So I'm telling you, it, 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 it does matter, my brother. You're not a, you're a political of the world, and I'm saying, oh God, go on, my brother. When you're ready to let me talk, we'll, we'll listen. I'm listening to you. I'm saying to you, brother, unless you accept Jesus Christ, you will die for the lack of knowledge. You have to understand that a relationship with God. It's by the grace of God that you are saved. A uniform. It, it, the, you're not exempt from the wrath of God. I'm telling you that you can stand for the law, but the law of God will stand. This is your opportunity to come to Jesus Christ. While I'm in the uniform, it's none of anybody's business. Okay? And that's it. We're done. And I'm going to terminate this conversation now. I'm telling you, you have to come to Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the truth, the way, and the life. Do you want to speak to them about it? I will come to deal with you guys because you guys need the word of God. No, we can talk about Islam. But it will not make you enter into the kingdom of heaven. The word of God will endure forever. False information. For Jesus has said, I am the way and the truth and the life and no man can come to the father except by me information of a false prophet information on scientific information it will not get you into the kingdom of heaven you can say what you want but jesus christ is lord the word of the lord will endure forever if you do not be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ, you will die for the lack of knowledge. The police 
they refuse to accept the gospel. They tell me about Islam. It will not help you to enter into the kingdom of heaven. Yes, brother, preach. Preach. So the Bible says in the last days, Amen. Men will be men will be blasphemers. Blasphemers. So many people today hate God. Amen. They hate God. We see it in the movies. We see it in the government. We see it in the laws. We see it everywhere. They hate God. They hate the truth. They hate God. And we're living in an antichrist society. Everything that we see, everything that they're pushing in the society is against God. Amen. You know, and when a, when a Christian comes and preaches to, to the truth, people hate it. They hate God. They hate the truth. Because the Bible says in the last days that men will be blasphemies, blasphemers. Idolaters. The Bible says in the last days that they will be unthankful, unholy. Unholy. Unloving. Unloving. Unforgiving. Unforgiving. You know, so many people today holding on to bitterness today. They can't, they can't forgive their neighbor. No. I've heard so many people say, I can't forgive people. I can't forgive people. Amen. Yeah, of course he is. Oh yeah, yeah, according to the Bible, yeah. No, Jesus said, I'm the way, the truth, and the life. Nobody comes to God except through me. Amen. So not Allah, not heaven, Muhammad, not Hindu, if you're trying not to get to Krishna. Heaven, Jesus Christ will get you to heaven. If you're trying to get to heaven through a different way, Amen. you're not making it. It's quite simple. <laughs> no, 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 no. If you the don't, reason make, why, the reason nothing. why, the reason why there's no other way to heaven because Jesus Christ is him, the mercy him. of God. Jesus Christ is the forgiveness of God. You see, if you haven't received the mercy of God, you're not making it to heaven. And I'm not being rude. I'm not. I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to offend anybody. But Jesus said, "I'm the only way to heaven." So when you see different religions, Muhammad is in hell, religion, Allah is dead. To, Hinduism is dead. Jesus Christ is alive. Jesus Christ is alive. Push a different way to you're a Christian. Heaven. You're a Christian, and you're not correcting your sisters. You're a Christian, and you're not correcting your sisters. Correct them. I'll discard your religion. It's false. There's no debate. It's one. God. You're deceived. Now, in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, preach the gospel, brother. In the name of Jesus, the Bible says in the last in the name of Jesus, you can be a Christian. But if you if you if you walk with a Muslim you, and you're not correct them, I'm fine. I'm proud. I'm proud. Yeah, yeah, I oh know. However, they have heard what they heard. Now, look, guys, we've got a dispersal order in the area. What I'm going to do is work on the madness. Do work. Yeah, I appreciate that. However, you're let's, using. Let's make sure he's speaking facts. Okay, you're using. Equipment. It's not in here, though. It's in the boundary of the railway. It's not in here. It's not in here. It's the boundary yeah. of the railway. Yeah. Okay. You can determine that. What's your name, please? Pavement. Eight zero three eight. Okay. Eight zero three eight. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Now, all right. Cool. What I don't propose, I issue a section thirty-five dispersal notice. Okay. But what I will do is ask you to leave the area. Politely. All right then. Okay. We'll leave. I'm not going to write anything up. You're not going to end up in any of our systems. Thank you. However, if we do see you return, I'll have no other choice but to issue with a section 35 right, dispersal cool. notice on the anti-social behaviour crime against the police. So, what are we just go. Right. Well, what we just go. We just go. We just start the we go back. Yeah. As I explained to you, mate, who's got a recording? 
He's approached well, us, literally, whilst recording us on his phone, on the border line, and he's yeah. come across us. Well, so any other member everybody. of the public, okay. they would say, A, they were intimidated by a male who came over to them aggressively, mm. shouting at them, sure. right? Mm. Because That's I'm wearing a, a uniform, yeah. our standards, our threshold is a hell of a lot higher than a normal person, mm. a normal yeah. member of public, okay? I've got no objection to what you're doing. You just can't do it around here. And you've got to address the manner in which you're doing it. Are we allowed Certainly to, you. Are we allowed to, am I allowed to preach on the mic here? I'm sorry, I'm allowed to preach on the mic. I'm just preaching on the mic, I don't know. Just, you can't do it on the rail, on or near the railway, okay? Apparently, apparently we're allowed to do it over here. You're, you're not, not allowed in here. to do it here. This is still part of the railway. You can tell because of the change in paper. I was told that we're not allowed to, to preach um, above here. Well, it's, it's, look, it's that gutter there, okay? but the sound is being reproduced at a volume which could be determined as anti-social, okay? Yeah, and, I, and I appreciate it. I'm not doing it's, it's, it's the manner in which some of your, um, some of your friends um, are coming up to people. How do you, how do you suppose I, I do it? Rejoice in persecution, it's brother, man. Rejoice, bro. There's preaching the Bible, uh, and then there's offering up yeah. opinion that so could be inflammatory. I'm not going to get in. Okay. 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 By telling a Muslim lady that she's wrong. Rotten. You said rotten. Rotten. You? You I didn't say rotten. You said wrong. 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 So the Bible, I say what the Bible says, my brother. If the Bible says that all forms of ungodliness is a sin, whether it contradicts to a murderer being a sinner, whether it contradicts to a homosexual being a sinner, I say what the Bible says, my friend. Okay? So if the Bible is an offense to the world because it says in the Bible, for the world has sinned against God. That's all I'm saying. This is the tone I'm speaking you at, brother. If you feel offended, I apologize. But God has blessed me a voice of a trumpet to preach the gospel. We're going to move. We're going to move from this area like you requested. And we'll continue the good work of the Lord. All right, let's move, brother. Let's move, bro. Yo, let's go, bro. I don't have to give you anything. I've not committed a crime. Section 50. I've not committed a crime. You said you'll not write anything up. I'm not, you, I'm not, I'm not giving you nothing. Because you said on camera that you're not going to write anything. And you said you'll let us go. So let us go. What it's continued that? in the manner in which you approached me over there. You, I have, I have no, advised you that he needs to wind his neck in. We're going to leave, leave now. We're going to go now. Okay, on you go. Appreciate that. Come. On you go. Yo, yo, sir. Let's go, brother. Let's go back and let's not debate with them. Let's just not get my Bible, bro. And put the thing in my bag, innit? One second, could you, could you, could you hold this? Could you hold this? Put four in the bin, the cup, the drink, the drink. Amen. Praise the Lord. Persecution at its finest. Amen. Praise the Lord. What happened? What happened? What? Well, oh, let's go, bro. I thought she was talking to me. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay, let me, let me.